If you've been wondering if you should be using progesterone to help you get pregnant, you should continue watching this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Slaughter, fertility expert, and welcome to Fertility TV, your YouTube channel dedicated to empowering your fertility. This episode is all about progesterone and should you be using it. Like previous uh, videos I've done regarding hormones, and if you wanna watch any of those previous videos on hormones, then go ahead and click right here. But since we're in this video, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> um, so like all my previous videos on hormones, the first and most important thing is that you've got to be tested. If you don't know if you have a progesterone deficiency, the real answer is we don't know if you need it. So first and foremost, you have to do some blood tests to check your progesterone levels and that should always be done seven days past ovulation or post ovulation. So that's the first test you should do. The second thing is I love the Dutch test. Um, I've talked about it before. If you've followed me for any length of time, you know how much I love it and how much I rely on it for my patients. Well, this is no different. If you uh, suspect that you've got um, low progesterone or you wanna find out what's going on with your hormones, then for sure the Dutch test is the one to do. I do this also, I recommend doing this blood test, uh, this uh, uh, dried urine test, excuse me, seven days post ovulation, maybe even eight days post ovulation. It's a simple test, um, pretty easy to do, comes with all the instructions right here. It's called a dry urine test because you are peeing on it and you let it dry before you send it in. This is going to tell us what your progesterone levels um, are like at that time of your cycle. If we're having concerns about your progesterone level all month long, and some of this gets into some of my next points, and I'll kind of elaborate on it in just a minute, then we might wanna do the whole cycle mapping when it comes to uh, progesterone testing, and this will also tell us estrogen as well, and it comes with all of our information and kit right here, and that when you're taking samples every day or every other day, depending on where you are in your cycle. So obviously, first and foremost is getting tested and getting the necessary information for your test to be done. Once we have that information, then certainly we can evaluate that and understand what your progesterone levels are doing and should you need additional support. But let's say you're at home right now and we don't know this information, we don't have the tests available, then what do we do? Some of you might be thinking, which is my second point, some of you might be thinking is that you've got a luteal phase defect. Your luteal phase, the, the phase of your cycle after ovulation is not long enough. And typically if it's not long enough, that's someone's first suspicion that they have a progesterone issue. Now, could there be other issues leading to a luteal phase defect? Sure. Is progesterone the most common one? Yes. So. Does that mean you don't have to do testing? No, you should still do testing to find out for sure. But luteal phase defect can be a sign that you've got um, progesterone deficiency. Number three, if you're doing basal body temperature charting, that could be a clue as to if you need progesterone or not. So if we're tracking your basal temperatures and we see that your temperatures drop uh, too early, they don't rise um, sufficiently enough, or the length of your cycle is too short, again, those might be indicators that you might have uh, not enough progesterone. And that would be a reason to order one of these tests. Okay, and number four, if you have recurrent pregnancy loss, then that for sure is a reason to try out progesterone. I'm not saying you don't get tested, you do get tested, but that is something I rely on with my patients if they, are, um, if they have a history of miscarriage because it's a simple thing to add in to hopefully yield the results that we're looking for. So those are the reasons why you might need progesterone. In the end, we all need testing to be done. If uh, you wanna know if you should um, have some testing done or if you want me to order any of your tests, then you can click on this little I right here to make an appointment with me or you can just go to marksklar.com forward slash hope to schedule your appointment with me. I'll evaluate your case, look at the whole picture and decide which one of these tests or blood work or what tests you might need and we can get that taken care of. If you're at home and you wanna learn a little bit more about your fertility and get a better understanding for your hormones and what could be affecting your fertility, then evaluate your fertility through my wheel or take your 
fertility score with the fertility wheel that I offer. And you can do that by clicking on this eye icon right here that can give you that information and that link to help you get started with that as well. So until the next video, please stay fertile. You can get pregnant. Nutrition, supplements, IVF, hormone balance, you name it, I've already done a video on it. You can find it all right here.